Takaaki Kajita, Weitian Long Jong Kajita Takaaki, Japanese pronunciation, Kajita Takaki, born 9 March 1959 is a Japanese physicist, known for neutrino experiments at the Kamiokande and its successor, Super Kamiokande. In 2015, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics jointly with Canadian physicist Arthur B. MacDonald. Early life and education Kajita was born in 1959 in Higashimatsuyama, Saitama, Japan. He liked studying thought rather than memorizing, especially with interest in physics, organism, world history, Japanese history, and earth science in high school. He studied physics at the Saitama University and graduated in 1981. He received his doctorate in 1986 at the University of Tokyo. In Yotokyo, he joined Masatoshi Koshiba's laboratory because they were somehow interested. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career and research. Since 1988, Kajita has been at the Institute for Cosmic Radiation Research, University of Tokyo, where he became an assistant professor in 1992 and professor in 1999. He became director of the Center for Cosmic Neutrinos at the Institute for Cosmic Ray Research (ICRR) in 1999. As of 2017, he is a principal investigator at the Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe in Tokyo, and director of ICRR. In 1998, Kajita's team at the Super Kamiokan found that when cosmic rays hit the Earth's atmosphere, the resulting neutrinos switched between two flavors before they reached the detector under Mount Kamioka. This discovery helped prove the existence of neutrino oscillation and that neutrinos have mass. In 2015, Kajita shared the Nobel Prize in Physics with Canadian physicist Arthur MacDonald, whose Sudbury Neutrino Observatory discovered similar results. Kajita's and MacDonald's work solved the long-standing solar neutrino problem, which was a major discrepancy between the predicted and measured solar neutrino fluxes, and indicated that the standard model, which required neutrinos to be massless, had weaknesses. In a news conference at the University of Tokyo, shortly after the Nobel announcement, Kajita said, "'I want to thank the neutrinos, of course. And since neutrinos are created by cosmic rays, I want to thank them, too.'" One of the first people Kajita called after receiving the Nobel Prize was 2002 Nobel physics laureate Masatoshi Koshiba, his former mentor and a fellow neutrino researcher. Kajita is currently the principal investigator of another ICRR project located at the Kamioka Observatory, the KAGRA gravitational wave detector. Topic: <laughs> Recognition. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards. 1987 Asahi Prize as part of Kamiokande representative Masatoshi Koshiba 1989 Bruno Rossi Prize along with the other members of the Kamiokande collaboration 1998 Asahi Prize as part of Super Kamiokande representative Yoji Tatsuka 1999 Nishina Memorial Prize 2002 Panofsky Prize for compelling experimental evidence for neutrino oscillations using atmospheric neutrinos 2010 Yoji Tatsuka Award 2012 Japan Academy Prize for "...discovery of atmospheric neutrino oscillations". 2013 Julius Wess's Award for his "...significant role in the discovery of atmospheric neutrino oscillations with the Super Kamiokande experiment." 2015 Nobel Prize in Physics jointly with Arthur B. MacDonald for the discovery of neutrino oscillations, which shows that neutrinos have mass. 2016 Fundamental Physics Prize Honours 2015 Order of Culture, Person of Cultural Merit 2016 Doctorate in Science DSC, Alighur Muslim University, India 2016 Honoris Causa Degree, Higher University of San Andres, La Paz, Bolivia. 2017 Honoris Causa Degree in Physics, University of Naples Federico II 2017 Honoris Causa Degree in Physics, University of Bern See also 
List of Japanese Nobel laureates List of Nobel laureates affiliated with the University of Tokyo Masatoshi Koshiba Yoji Tatsuka References External links Official website Panofsky Press Verlehung de Julius Wesses Preises 2013 MIT Vortrag von Kajita KAGRA, the latest, "...gravitational wave telescope", project, commences via JST Science News 2012 Takaaki Kajita quotes with pictures Interview with Takaaki Kajita, on Editage Insights, In my days, nobody felt rushed just because research was making slow progress. <laughs>